I'm out here digging up one of our fields and I think we're going to do a review today. Case IH Quad Track versus John Deere Quad Track. John Deere's is new, ours is 2013 maybe. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it right here. This is how old our Quad Track is. So I don't know if it's really a fair review because this is an older and but John Deere is like brand new. We're just going to test it out. Forward, reverse, and park lever. It is very stupid because every time you do it, it returns back to the normal position instead of just having it like, okay, I'm in forward, I'm in reverse, and this is neutral. Instead, it makes you push it ahead, it'll go back, and to get into neutral, you have to push this button on the top which is just stupid. So I hope John Deere is way better than that and I hope they put it on the armrest because that just makes sense. Everything else is over here, why not just put it over here? Fuel is around 19 gallons per hour. This right here is what's wrong with this machine. So I made another video highlighting how bad the auto steer was and that was a bit of an exaggeration. It isn't like that bad, like we can deal with it. It's actually been doing fine today, I don't know why. There must be a lot of satellites in the area. And now I have low fuel throttler. Every, I mean, it's nice that everything's on here. Or like the uh, shift, reverse forward. I, we never use this, it just, I don't know. You have to push. There's a button on the back here you have to push for it to even do that, so we don't even use it. And then we don't even use this either, we just use this. So I don't know like what good that does, but they have it. We're gonna switch over to the John Deere and I'll review that for you. And this is a good machine, but we about to try out the newest and the greatest. So let's go. Okay, we're, we hooked it up to the same tool. I just put some deaf fluid in it because it was beeping on me but these are way shorter or closer to the ground like look how tall this goes and this wheel is way bigger i mean these look the same size there's only two on the bottom and apparently this track is 20 percent larger this is a 9570 rx five um, hydraulic ports. And Let's get to pulling. Ooh. Ow, ow. This door is tiny. So I've been running this for like an hour already this morning. Hold on, let me get to the field and then we'll get going. We'll get going here. Lower it. Okay, no. 
No, you don't lower it. You don't, just lower it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go up to there where my land is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was in like way too high of a gear. I was in like ninth gear before. And lower. Okay, okay. And I usually always have this limiter thing on. Max engine speed. Put that baby way up. People are gonna be like, you're doing this wrong. Here's my engine speed. Literally, there's only 14 hours. There's only 14 hours on this machine and I put on like an hour this morning. Here's the run page and the guidance run page. This is way, let me just tell you that this is way better than the case one. Like, you don't get to customize anything. Look at you do, but it's not as easy as like, I don't know, this is just way easier. It looks way better, I can tell you that right now. We have a mirror over here, and you can control both of them from in here. Uh, heat for something. We got three wipes. There's a back wipe, front wipe, and there's a side wipe. We got a nice mirror over there. This thing is just loaded with some nice, like, it's the little things, okay? It's the little things that John Deere does. I mean, we're probably, I don't think we're gonna buy this, at least this year, but, yeah, I don't think we're gonna buy it. We're just um, trying it out. Dealer let us do that, so which is pretty freaking awesome because so far I really like this track for the record. Just because everything else we have is John Deere, and we can just like plug in our guidance, which is way better than that. What's on there? And like we use that for all of them. We just take it off and put it on the other tractors if we need it. And we can we have to pay like a subscription to like have those like renewed I guess. One thing I will say is that the steering on this is kind of weird. Like it makes some noises. You can probably hear it. Side, like bouncing up and down but the cab like just kind of stays the same so it must be like some kind of suspension in it we got the auto steer is so much better in this so right here I'm averaging 20 gallons per hour versus okay now it's up to 21 Wait, five, 20. I'm not sure what these buttons do I'm just kind of like ready to push these buttons I pushed it okay don't do that yeah. So these are like automatic little things. I'm guessing it's for when you like go down the road. You can just push that and it'll like automatically shift and stuff. Plus, <laughs> as soon as I did it, it went up to like 14th gear and I was like, okay, I'm not having any of this. All right, let's go fly. Oh my 
god, if they had Black Friday deals on this, I'd be sitting outside for 10 days. I'd be getting out my camper that I don't have. All right, that is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already.